Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement the Bootstrap Carousel Image Slider in a Django web application. And here we got the final output. See, the images are sliding. This is the second image and this is the third image. We have three images in our application which have applied for the Carousel Image Slider. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a new Django web application. Go to File, Open Folder. I'm creating a new folder before creating the application. Right click the mouse, New, Folder. The folder name is Image Slider. I'm selecting this folder and here the folder is added successfully to our Visual Studio Explorer panel. At the right side we got welcome page. Let's close this welcome page. Right now this folder contains empty. Now we'll create a new Django web application in this folder. For that go to view, select terminal and here we got our terminal which is nothing but a command prompt or PowerShell. And also notice the path is the image slider which is our the folder name which we have created just now in this e -trial. Now to create a Django application, Django hyphen Django hyphen admin start project and the project name is a image img slider. The img slider is my application name. Click enter. And here the application is created successfully in this folder. Let me expand this application. If you notice when I expand this application, there is one subfolder with the same application name and one managed application. Let me allow to expand this subfolder also. Now if you notice in this subfolder, there are some default Python files like URLs of py, settings of py. All these files and folders have been created automatically when I create this project image slider. So after creating the Django application, next step, we'll add one templates to our application. For that, select the project, right click the mouse, click new folder. And this folder name is the templates folder. All my rendered HTML pages, the templates are inside this templates folder. So let's add one simple HTML page, right click the mouse, new file. And the file name is index.html. And here we got our index.html page. Let's add some HTML5 code. Close the HTML tag. Inside this HTML, we have header tags. Inside the header tags, we have title tags, Django, Bootstrap, Image Slider. Image Slider. After that, we'll add the body of the body tag. Inside this body tag, I'm adding one simple uh, message, the label called, this is the body. Let's save this HTML file, save all. Now we require views page. The subfolder of our application, right click the mouse, new file, the file name is a views.py. Inside this views.py, we'll add, we'll import the render class from Django dot shortcuts import render class. Then let's define a function called show images, show slides. So slides is a function name. And this function takes a request colon this function return i want to render i'm requesting the page the template name is index.html let's add the comment that's it let's save this file save all then we need to configure the url so open urls of py and the urls of py first let's import the use the page name views and the URLs pattern path between double quotes 
comma views dot I want to render this show slides function I'm calling this function here and this function contains our index.html page and I'm not adding anything between these double quotes now this path will become the default home page of our application so let's save this URLs also now the next step we need to configure the settings open settings of py first let's add our application name in the settings our application name is image slider image slider i'm adding here then in the templates when we want to render the templates we need to configure that directory so in the directory section os the path os the path the join method in this join method i'm adding base directory between double quotes i'm adding this templates folder name all my templates html pages is inside this templates folder at this moment we have only one html page let's save this file and now before implement the bootstrap carousel in a slider on this application let's check the output how it looks our application on the browser come to the terminal let's add cd let's add our uh, the project name to our path then to run the application python manage.py run server we need to add this manage.py to run the server enter see after we run the server we don't have any issues let's browse this control plus mouse click and here we got our the django web application output the index.html page now my aim is i want to implement the bootstrap carousel image slider on this um, on this application at the top so first let's uh, add images to our project select the project name right click the mouse the folder name is static all my static files like images are static here so i'm adding the static files inside this static folder now inside the static folder we'll add images so switch over to the explorer desktop let's refresh this one this is our application name open this one image slider static right now this folder is empty we'll add some images go to downloads i click the mouse we'll, app, we'll open new window let's copy uh, three images drag and drop to our project static folder let me expand the static folder see here these three images let's rename these file names image one image two and this one image three image.jpg now go to index.html i want to add the cursor image slider in the header section of this index.html page so again switch over to the browser let's open getbootstrap.com getbootstrap.com is the official website of the bootstrap and this website is free open source we don't require any license to use this uh, components bootstrap components and i'm using the version is 4.5.2 now go to examples uh, not examples so home get started in the search i'm adding cursor here we got the cursor component open that one in the cursor components here you can find different varieties of sliders 
just for the demo purpose I'm adding this uh, simple one slides only copy this one this is the code for this above image slider I copied this code and I'm pasting here after that this image source we need to add the images so before that we need to add one important uh, expression here load static this is very important step load static then only these static files will be executed on the browser and here percentage percentage static within single quotes forward slash i am adding this images name first one is the image one dot jpg let's copy this one place here and this is the image two and here this is the image three let's save this index.html file now the most important step open settings.py uh, when we want to execute the static files in Django application in the settings.py come to the bottom notice here the static underscore url which contains the static the path name here i am adding static files underscore directories is equals to within square brackets i'm adding the path name of the static os dot path dot join base directory comma within double quotes i'm adding static my folder name static here that's it this is very important step let's save these files now let's check the output after we run the server, we don't have any issues. I could uh, run to plus mouse click. And here we got a new output. The images, one, two, three images. And this is a body. Now if you notice here, these three images is displaying one after the other. Now let's add some styles. Um, open bootstrap, get bootstrap.com. We are implementing the bootstrap functionality so we require the latest bootstrap cdn links of the css styles and jquery files go to home get started here you can find css copy this one i'm copying this css link of the bootstrap and i'm pasting in the index.html files after the title tag now let's save this file Save. Now we'll check the new output of our application. Right now it's showing three images. Uh, let's reload the browser. See now we got only one image because the first image is active. That's the reason it's displaying only the image one. Now let's adjust the height and width of these images. Uh, after this CSS link, I'm adding a simple style tag. Style. And type is equals to text forward slash CSS. Here, these images is inside this due tag. So I'm copying this console iPhone inner class name here. When we are adding class names in the styles, we need to prefix with dot and I am adding images from this do tag I am finding the element image element from the brackets let's add the width of the image is 100% and height height I am adding 150 pixels let's save this file we'll check the new output at this moment the image is showing very big let's reload the browser see we got the image is shrinker 
the height of the image is 150 and the width is 100 percent now we need to implement the image sliders functionality so let's add the bootstrap jquery latest jquery studio links which are these ones copy that one and paste here after the link tag says start and also we require one jquery studio so here I'm adding latest jQuery CD and Google and from the search results I'm selecting the hosted libraries in the Google hosted libraries notice here in the library section we have the script tag which is the latest jQuery CD and link copy that one the version is 3.5.1 and I'm pasting this jQuery CD and link here after the bootstrap links now here I am adding a small jQuery snippet to run the to add the intervals between the slides. So script tag inside the script. Now the script tag I am adding window dot initialize cursor is equals to the function I am adding. So in curly brackets dollar with the double quotes I'm adding this do tag name also example slides only and we add iris we need to prefix with the hash dot cursor curly brackets and setting the interval column 500 close with the column that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the final output on the browser let's save this file save all after saving the application now let's reload the browser I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output see the images are sliding this is the second image and this is the third image we have three images in our application which have applied for the console image slider that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to implement the bootstrap console image slider in django web application thanks for watching please subscribe my channel